fixing video. All right, this, I like Glidden Premium, okay? Obviously, that's all I use and I've had good luck. I don't need GAC 800 with my pillow. Now this is the pillow paint on this side. It says base one, okay? In satin, I like satin. So this is the black I used. Um, and I don't, I think I got this at Home Depot or Lowe's. I'm not sure which one, but both these pillow paints I've had very good luck with. Um, and you know, you can always have a certain color. You don't have to have white or black. You can have any color you want, but the brand I like. And I use the same brand for my base three for mixing my colors, Glidden Premium base three. This is semi-gloss. Um, I don't think it really matters much if they match one being satin, one being summer gloss, because I don't have any problem with that at all. So let's get on with the mixing. It is time for me to mix up my favorite colors and this is how I do it. Now the first two were empty. Um, so I'm making the most of those. The others I'm just filling up to, I like to have about halfway full on my cups. And so there's going to be varying amounts of pouring medium. Um, so that's the base three. And I just have it in a convenient jar. Uh, and then I put that in first. And then I go with my pigments. Now I did two scoops in the ones that don't have any, that were empty to begin with. And then others, I'll do one scoop if I only added a little bit. Like if I'm just kind of like topping it off. Um, these colors are mostly color art blingets, uh, extreme pastels. And you guys, honestly, like I've been using this exact color palette for two weeks now and I'm using like a pop of color, um, on top of it to change it. So like a, like a bright pink and then, you know, so it's just, it, this color palette is really, really working for me. Okay. Anyway, I'm stirring, I'm putting the pigment in, um, at one point I get my husband to come over and like stir these, you know, it's just kind of boring watching me stir the pigment into the base three. Um, and yeah, I'm passing them off here. Stillers. And so once you get that part done, all the pigments stirred in, you'll notice that it creates a lot of bubbles and that's why I like to make mine ahead of time. So it can sit overnight or even three nights, um, to let those bubbles get out of there. You really don't. I don't like to mix them and paint the same day unless I'm really in a pinch because of the air bubbles. <clears throat> but you really need to mix um, them very well, especially the TLP pigments. Um, they don't dissolve quite as good as the color art stuff. Okay, so now this is step two of this process. The so Josanya Gloss Varnish. I get this on Amazon and that little bottle has lasted me forever. And I just put a little squirt and each one, I don't measure. Okay, guys, I don't measure. And you see my videos, I'm getting great results. So yeah, stir that in. And then um, that's it. Put it all away. And I'm good to go. That will last me like a long time. These colors, I, I hardly ever mix them up unless I'm painting a lot. And I store them. Okay, now we're gonna make some cell activator. This is the Australian Floetrol. I buy it on eBay. That bottle has lasted me over a year, okay? I do not go through cell activator like crazy. It a little goes a long way. And yeah, I pay for it. I mean, it's kind of expensive on eBay. I can't remember exactly what it was, but you know, obviously you're shipping it from Australia. It takes two weeks to get here or more, especially these days. And then I'm putting, I'm using the Artisloft Copper. Otherwise I like to use Amsterdam. And, um, that is a three to one mixture of that plus the paint and it's it feels thin it's supposed to feel thinner than the colors on the right that's what makes it activate okay everyone so there you go we we covered the pillow paint we covered the colors and the cell activator and then you have everything that you need after that and you can start creating. So I hope this helped you guys understand um, what pouring mediums and everything that I use for the Shelly Art Technique. And if you have any questions, please comment below.
Don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.